Yo, what's up? In this tutorial, we will learn how to make these really cool looking color splash animations in After Effects. And for this, we don't need any plugins, and it's super simple. So, yeah, I'd say let's just go. So, let's go into our new composition. And I just made a, a little simple background. But yeah, let's focus on these splash animations. So, let's first of all create a new solid. And yeah, just press OK. And let's first of all also give the solid a fill effect. So you can just look in fill in here and just apply this on the solid. And yeah, then let's just change the color to something that we like for our splash animation. And yeah, now let's add the most important effect, which is the CC Mr. Mercury effect, which you can find under simulation right here. And just apply it on this one. And now we can see this already looks really cool, um, but yeah, let's change a few settings so this looks more like a splash and not a continuous flow. So let's go to the beginning and let's first of all bring the birth rate up to 3 or 4 maybe, or 3.5 and put in a keyframe and then just go forward a few frames on the timeline just like this and bring this to zero. So this will stop and just be a single splash just like this and yeah but this looks a bit weird so let's play around with a few more settings so let's first of all change the gravity to zero so it will go in all directions and not fall down and let's also change the birth size of these particles to something like 0.4 and the death size to zero so they will just vanish over the time just like this and yeah, as you can see, this already looks super cool. And yeah, now we can just play maybe with a few other settings like the, um, the lifetime, so the longevity, how long you want this particle to exist. You can either increase it or decrease it. If you decrease it, it will just vanish real fast. And if you increase it, of course, it will yeah take some time to vanish. So if you put this to four, as we can see, this will, yeah, take a long time. But I think one looks cool, 1.5 maybe. And now we have this cool thing. And yeah, this is amazing. And of course, now we can just press this layer or select it and press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate this thing and just use the fill effect to just change a few colors. Like, let's give this one a, a red or pink color maybe and just move it a bit and displace it on the timeline so it will start later and we can also press s to scale it down maybe a little bit to something like 50 and rotate it in the direction tab here so it won't be the exact same animation and yeah you can just do this a few times so just select it again press ctrl d move it somewhere just place it on the timeline and change the color and yeah you can do this as often as you like until you have super cool super many um yeah super many splash effects so let's give this one a yellow color maybe and also just place it on the timeline and yeah as you can see this looks super cool and we're already done so thanks for watching